all right fucking connection spread but what am i gonna i i just want to i just want to <laughs> i'm owning this this is my desire this is my 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 vibration no nipples today sorry everybody that was a one-time guest special feature but you know uh ask me out to dinner you never know what might happen anyway i'm here because i want to be i'm in the car because i just had an, an interesting conversation with uh with the individual i live with with the person i was in a relationship with for 10 years i'm not in the car because i have to be I, i'm gonna make that clear I'm in the car because I want to be. <laughs> because love doesn't fight. And uh, it just flows around. It takes the path of least resistance. This is the path of least resistance. <laughs> it's become more and more abundantly clear that our vibrations are not resonant. Um in really any capacity, there's a very small portion of overlap. And I would like to say, I desire to say, to be very clear about this, there is nothing wrong with this person. She is not a bad person. There is no mistake in her being. And she is in fact, every amount, the spiritual deliberate creator that I am, that all are, we are equivalent in our spirituality, in our divinity, and being from the same source, being equally loved, valued, and worthy. And our vibrations are not a match in frequency. There is nothing wrong with this either. <laughs> the result is we have nothing in common. And the divine masculine aspect in her is dominant almost exclusively and so when engaged with balanced empress aspect it seeks to diminish it seeks to shut down to put down it is so afraid of emotion so programmed to push that away that it attempts to do so in others as well and this is what is meant by that is a game no one is winning. The only way to win is not to play. Simply flow around. That is the unconditionally loving act. That is the compassionate act. Allow it. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with any aspect of being. This being bees as it is and delights in it and worries about nothing. And so does this because it is desired. For no other reason. This is incomprehensible to shadow ego, to the pure dominant masculine aspect. It makes no sense and it demands an explanation <laughs> when there is none. And so I offer no explanations, no reasons. I simply move as my heart moves because it pleases me to do so because it is its own reward. It is self-satisfying, self-sustaining. It is being. It is the queen of cups. It is the full cup flowed effortlessly, freely, unconditionally, without limit, without burden, without restriction. This is the course of the connection I am pulling upon today. Ooh, a three of wands sandwich between the lovers and the queen of cups. That feels good. Lovers pushed by the chariot. With a king of pentacles. Book ending. Now this, this is a power couple. <laughs> I would say. Balanced, stable, mutually reciprocal. Feminine and masculine in equal form. Sharing the full cup, exposing all experiencing the full spectrum of emotion balanced balanced this is this is delightful to me with the magician at the top and the hanged man as the top card as well that well 
I'm pleased with this regardless. So today I'm pulling on my connection for my own selfish desire. And if this resonates with any other in any way, that is beautiful and inspiring. But it is for me that I do this. It is and must be selfish. My delight. My pleasure. So it is. There is no other who can please the self but the self. No one can feel for you, be happy for you. It must be of your own doing, of your own allowing. So I allow this spirit, can I please have a card for my energy in this connection, if you will. What is my energy in this connection? Beloved spirit. You may or may not clarify. It depends how the feeling guides. What is my energy in this connection? Is it this one? Oh. Am I the devil? I think I am revealing this illusion. Or being perceived as the devil. This feels interesting. Okay, I'm going with it. Let it be. Let me see what this is. I was not entirely clear in my asking of the universe. What is my challenge? If this is my energy, what is my challenge? Perhaps this is a perception. I'll not resist it, but this other person was on my mind. The person I was just speaking to. And this makes sense in that context. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense in that context. Um, I own this, but I would like to be clear. I would like to be clear to the universe in my own intention. <sighs> to release the previous conversation. And whatever card comes up, it may be the devil again. It may be whatever it is. I, I allow it. I don't disown it. This pops out. This flew out. I did not choose this. We shall keep the devil in mind always. Now cards are just falling out. What is this? Okay. Okay. These are falling out of the deck rather than being selected. We will say there is a fear that I am the false ten of pentacles. That feels appropriate. That feels appropriate. However, these are the cards that fell out for my energy and my challenge. Which seems to be to wait, not to wait, not to remain stagnant, but to be patient and focused on myself and my own shining. That feels appropriate. See, now we have, now the cards are changing tremendously now that my focus has shifted. <laughs> this is how it works. Again, keeping, I will keep that devil in mind. Pray always for the devil. As Mark Twain's famous wonderful quote who prays for the devil the one sinner of us all who needs those prayers the most love the devil the devil only wants love it wants to be brought to the light that energy is afraid of love because it's afraid it doesn't deserve it show it love this being said we shall say perhaps my connection is perceived as a false Ten of Pentacles, and my challenge is to continue shining, to focus on my own vibration, allowing it to flow, allowing the flow of energy. How about the energy of this person who I am thinking of specifically now? What is the energy of this person in my connection?
What is the energy of this person in the connection? Wow. Four of Wands with the lovers underneath and five pentacles at the bottom. Very interesting. Okay, what is what is the challenge for this individual? What is this person's challenge? Coming out of that five pentacles energy, certainly. What is the challenge for this person? Oh, keep going. I'm letting the universe be abundantly clear in this. What is the challenge for this person? In our connection. <laughs> Withholding. Withholding of emotion. Oh, and causing some anxiety. These are wonderful cards. Four and four. I do like that. This feels transmutative. That their challenge is to transmute this. Okay, what is the card of our connection? What is the card which defines this connection spirit? My connection with this individual. Mother of Pentacles wants to come out. Stable, nurturing. at the bottom of the deck and on top divine timing alignment yeah the energy is aligning itself is the feeling for this simply allowing allowing it to take place in the meantime time does not exist but focusing on my own vibration understanding this is resolving the base energy is four of wands. The challenge energy is four of pentacles. This is balancing itself. Yeah, the soul is awake. The soul is awakening to this. That's really beautiful. Um, yeah, I'd like to clarify just a little bit. Let's clarify. Oh, I didn't get the deck out. Seven pentacles, that's right, on the bottom of this deck, with ten pentacles underneath and nine of cups. That feels worthwhile. One way or the other, uh, Ace of Pentacles at the very top feels uh, like it's coming in one way or another. <laughs> Can I clarify my energy here, which is Ten of Pentacles, please? What is this? Why Why is my energy Ten of Pentacles with that, that devil in mind? Four of Wands. Wow. <laughs> there is a lot of alignment here. There is a surprising amount of alignment. Um, can I clarify this four of wands just a little further? This is real and balanced and stable. This is on my side, but with a matching card to the energy of the connecting party, this feels significant. Can I clarify this four of wands, please? I I am the four of wands. I am, this is, yeah. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Yeah, it's becoming more clear, is the feeling, I mean, this is my energy. This is my energy in the connection. Balanced. 
uplifting. Triggering. <laughs> we shall say that. But comfortable. Clarifying the star. This is my challenge card. What can you tell me, spirit? Can you please clarify the star for me? Clarify the star here. Why is the star here in my challenge position? What is the star for? another one that fell out knight of pentacles yeah remaining stable these are all just jumping <laughs> the emperor and ace of cups S just keep flowing just keep flowing keep steadily moving ahead moving along flowing this is exactly the sensation of it of there is a bold move coming a new beginning the lighting is not so good here, but two of wands and the fool. I'm keeping the knight of pentacles there. Just stay the course. Stay the course. Keep rising. Slow and steady. <sighs> Connecting parties energy. Why is this person showing up as the Four of Wands? What is? What can you clarify here, please? Why the Four of Wands? Why the Four of Wands here? If it's Ten Pentacles, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Why the Four of Wands? Can you please clarify the Four of Wands for me? Why is this their energy? cups poking out the bottom yeah there's there is emotion here why the four of wands please clarify this spirit spirit four of wands doing a lot of shuffling for this one okay page of wands wanting to work on this wanting to work on the, wanting to grow wanting to grow on themselves grow on grow in them so grow on themselves grow in love grow in self-love grow in this there's that emperor aspect can you clarify this further please why the page of wands why is the page of wands here it's funny I received a text message in my dream from this person. <laughs> uh, the night that we last spoke in person. And it was a long text message. I didn't see all of it in the dream. But the first line that I read that I awoke with <laughs> that made me laugh as I read it in the dream state was... I think I need to work on myself to be your soulmate. <laughs> and that was just so beautiful. That was such a beautiful and honest statement. And is essentially, you know, the course of the conversation that was had in so many words. Why is the page of wands here? Can you please clarify this page of wands for me? Please be abundantly clear, spirit. Yeah, okay. Page of swords. Oh, all these sweet little pages. There's so much nervousness. There's a lot of nervousness, but it's about the bigness of this. Okay, we'll leave it there. Yeah, it's about being nervous to be vulnerable, but there's a real desire to. Star card. I mean, this is, this is me. This is Aquarius. This is my energy, this <laughs> right here. There, it makes them nervous. It makes them nervous. 
but they have their eye on it. Uh, clarifying the Four of Pentacles, please. Can I clarify the Four of Pentacles? Why is this here? It's holding back. There was that Page of Cups at the bottom I'm seeing, holding back that tidal wave of emotion. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Please be abundantly clear, Spirit. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Hope. Oh, well, that's okay. That's abundant. <laughs> we have quite a few cards. Nine of Wands and Five of Cups. I'm an Eight of Pentacles. This is kind of a lot. I am feeling yeah, the world at the bottom here. Oh my goodness, everything jumped out. There's a lot of, there is a lot withheld. Someone is very tired of withholding. <laughs> in general, in their life, in not just this situation. They are really wanting, this person is really wanting to be more vulnerable. Is a little bit disappointed and unhappy with how guarded they have been, have become. And they're working towards dropping these barriers. Yeah, because there is a lot of passion here. Ace of Wands. Um, I'm not rejecting those cards, but if I could... That was an abundance of clarity. Thank you. That works. Just get the jumper. Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is something that is deeply satisfying and has not been felt before. And it's so much that there is a fear of... It's that fear of messing up. It's that feeling of, gosh, this is... This is the potential for everything. Four of Wands, twice. Ten Pentacles, the star judgment with that phoenix rising energy <laughs> seven pentacles again at the bottom of really taking stock of a lot of things really looking at everything in one's life yeah with the world and the star directly underneath three of pentacles bookending crossing the star world crossing divine timing i mean it's there's a lot of cycles closing out in order to give to this connection. The real desire to be vulnerable in this. I can feel that. Queen of Pentacles. This is the connecting card. Can you please clarify? Queen of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? Why is this the card of our connection? What is meant by this spirit? Queen of Pentacles. Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles in regards to my connection with this individual. This just popped its way out the top. Queen of Cups. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there's... There's love here. Whether or not it's admitted to. Wow, top card off of this deck. Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if that's visible. <sighs> Stable. Nurturing. Mutual. I mean, vibrational match. Same energy, but with love in between. It's like... <laughs> uh... I just split the deck in Six of Pentacles right here. With Seven Pentacles on the bottom. It, it's this is building towards it it's moving towards it's moving into alignment this is aligning yeah anxiety being released to move towards the ten cups there's the king of pentacles right there balancing of the masculine aspect temperance directly underneath that
And it feels good. I surrender this completely. I have surrendered completely. All is that that is unconditional love. I have love for this person. Unconditional love means freedom, <laughs> joy, happiness, no limitation, no restriction. It means they never have to choose to come towards me. I know the seed has been planted. The gift is given. But this feels like... Trust this. There is balance here. There is a withholding of desire because of nervousness. But it's coming into balance. I mean, with Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, there's a lot of feminine energy. But, you know, you can have a divine union with two divine feminines. <laughs> because each one being balanced in themselves, the masculine emperor aspect just sort of takes turns coming out in polarity it's more than possible <laughs> having a divine union of two dominant masculines is a little different <laughs> that's where the power struggle kind of comes into play i'm not going to say anything's impossible the universe is absolutely unlimited i know that but this is feeling <laughs> this is feeling distinctly like a, a balanced empress with a balanced empress and each sort of versatilely switching off just trading roles as as desired and there is deep profound love and stability in that kind of connection i'm here for it i'm here for it i would like one last card one final card this was a fair amount longer than i anticipated and you know what i'm so fucking happy i did this this just feels good. I don't know if this person is watching these videos. She knows about this channel. I sent her a few... Not connection spreads. A few things related to... Withholding emotion and, and healing that. You know? Because that's what she said she wanted to do. And I support that unconditionally. Regardless of anything else. Regardless of outcome. It's not relevant. For the satisfaction one final card if i may beautiful beloved sexy spirit one final card in relation to this i don't know potential outcome what, advice whatever you want to say whatever you want to say spirit can i have one final card please shuffling these five of cups flipped over okay but seven of pentacles at the bottom and nine of wands i'm not going to reject that but i don't feel i feel like this is changing i mean this was in the clarifying of the withholding too tired of of disappointment really Okay, keeping that in mind. Keeping that in mind. Just like that devil energy. There is illusion being dispelled here. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> Things are being triggered. <laughs> Alarm bells going off. Oh, well, okay. I just got three cards that fell out. That's the way I prefer it here. Tower, lovers, and strength. Yeah, the alarm bells are going off. There's a lot of things being triggered. There's a lot of towers coming down, but ultimately... I mean, it feels positive. It's 
the endings of other relationships that are taking a lot of strength to walk away from as well. It's a lot of profound realizations happening, but that is deeply healing and empowering. And ultimately, this feels like a healing and empowering connection and something that will just take place when it does. Lightning strikes when it chooses to. It will just happen suddenly. And yeah. Something to look forward to. And in the meantime, to just be happy. Because why the hell not? <laughs> I like that. That's my connection spread for this day. <laughs> if you resonate with my energy, perhaps there is something here for you. Something that your own discernment latches onto. If you feel a chord struck, if you feel triggered in any way, that is resonance. None of it is bad. All of it beautiful. All of it to our eternal benefit. That's the reading. Have a beautiful day, souls. I love you.